Good morning, everyone. Right now on Wildberry, it's 11.54 a.m. on Saturday, April 11th, 2020. Can you believe it? Today on Wildberry, we're hosting our very first fishing tourney. Oh, Isabel, I am so excited too. You guys, it's our first fishing tourney with Chips Jr., who is shown up on our island. I am so thrilled about this, and I did some special preparation in last night that I think you all will appreciate for our fishing tourney today. Let's go ahead and carry on. The tourney will run until 6 p.m. Anyone can participate. Just check in at the tent and the plaza. Now for additional announcements. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big wild berry welcome to Sheldon. And Sheldon has moved in, you guys, and I have a huge bit of news to explain who Sheldon is and where I found him on an island where we battled for survival together. But we'll have to save that for after the fishing tourney. It makes me so happy to have a new friend on the island. Oh, Isabel, it makes me so happy to see you surrounded with adorable little flowers and sipping your barley tea. And with that, I'll get back to work on supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. I just imagine, by the way, that she totally has the most freaking adorable bullet journal that she does little doodles in. Every day she's able to successfully do the announcement and every day she's able to successfully help us with our enjoyment of Wildberry Island. Which today, I would doodle in a little fish because today is the fishing tourney! My very first ever fishing tourney. Our very first ever fishing tourney. I have no idea what to expect except, you know, fish. <laughs> so we're gonna actually meet Chips Jr. today also. Oh, I think that Tommy needs to call me real quick. Or is it Timmy this morning? It's Timmy. All right, thank you, Timmy. I really appreciate the bells. Thank you, I dropped some seashells into the drop-off box last night. But hello, you guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the day of the fishing tourney. Quite a windy day, it seems. And as you guys can see, I am dressed and ready for this in my brand new fish queen outfit. Look at how cute this is. I really love it. It's our little Viking outfit with the scales. I've got a cute little skirt on because I didn't have any pants. I searched inside the house, but I don't have any pants. We'll have to fix that later recycled boots and a lovely little tulip in my hair we are going to be able to go and we are going to find those fish Ooh, actually last night Pierce taught me something very special that will be really good to be able to show you guys so let me show you we're gonna remove the sneezing one Ta-da! this is how you can see all of the different reactions isn't it so freaking cute and Pierce actually taught me this one last night and it's perfect we're gonna go find those fish, you guys. Look at how encouraged and excited we are. All right, let's not waste any time. We're gonna go see what CJ's up to. <gasps> I love it. I love it, 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 I love it. CJ, are you gonna give me like cute little lures I can use? Good morning, dude. Yo, what's up, Sea Sports fan? I'm CJ, coming at you live. Hang on, of course I'm live. I'm right here. Okay, so CJ is Chips Jr. And he is actually the son of Chips the fishing attorney beaver from the past. And he is here with his live streaming. So he is actually a live streaming influencer fish guy. Which isn't that hilariously amazing. I, I just can't even get over it. He's really cool. Anyway, I'm anchoring the premiere event of the, sea, the spring sea sports season, the fishing tourney. So shine those hooks and get your reels ready, because between now and 6 p.m., the tourney is on. The rules of the fishing tourney are easy breezy. You just gotta catch as many fish as you can in three minutes. Every fish you catch nets you points. Net enough points and you can swap them for some slick fish swag. I want some slick fish swag. Also, there's a cooler in the tent. Any fish you catch will automatically get stored there. Keeps the pockets dry. Oh, so we don't even need to worry about having space in our pockets for these fish. That means as long as you've got a fishing rod, you'll have all you need to complete. Nyuk. Simple, right? And you can enter as many times as you like. What do you say? Ready to get your feet washed in the fishing tourney? The entry fee is waived for the first run. <laughs> he should have said waived. That would have been really fun. Uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to be good for just a second. Well, all right. And okay, so we'll cruise by. So I guess this will go ahead and store the fish in the cooler. Oh, all of my cherry blossoms are gone, you guys. And there goes an egg balloon. I just had to check. Oh, I'm so sad the cherry blossoms are gone, but how exciting that we have a special new event to be able to start the day. And we will totally be fishing with Chip in just a second. However, I need to show you guys something cool. 
Oh, a DIY to start us off. Excellent. Let's go ahead and see what that is to celebrate, like, the beginning of the fishing tourney. Too lucky you. I was reading a letter I got from my dad back home, and something he wrote gave me a solid DIY idea. I wrote the recipe down as quick as I could in case I forgot it. And with that, good luck. Taking cover, Sherry. <laughs> the brown herringbone wall, which I already know. All right, thank you, Sherry. But here we go. Are you guys ready for this? <clears throat> Hang on. I've got to practice my... Where's my new emotion? I need my new emotion. Let's go ahead. There we go. Here we are! This is going to be the official spot where we are going to be hosting the fishing tourney! Huzzah! 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 I have already crafted some extra wonderful fishing rods and a ton, a ton, a ton of fish bait. Because how better to catch as many fish as we need in three minutes than to use some bait to summon the fish to us. So that's kind of the plan. We're going to stand basically right here, and then we have the bait ready to go. Let me actually move the fish bait over so that we can grab it. Come along, come along. And then we'll have our fishing rod ready to go. Let's make sure that we can grab it out really quickly. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. All right, fishing rod. Let's register it as like the first item that you can find up there. I'll go ahead and get over here, you slingshot. There we go. But we'll have the fishing rod ready to go, and then we can go ahead, toss the fish bait in, catch a fish, and then apparently all of our fish will go to the cooler. Which sounds pretty cool, if you ask me. <laughs> Alright, and then we'll go greet Sheldon in a little bit. But let's see if any of the other villagers are around. Oh, look, there's Pierce! Pierce, are you fishing too? I want to fish down by the ocean for ocean fish. But let's come over and talk to Pierce and see what he's doing. Ugh, I can't catch anything. Hang in there, Pierce. I'm sure you'll be able to get it. Are any of the other villagers like out here fishing? Because that would be adorable. Okay, I don't see anybody here. I do love the waves on the beach. Oh, and I just noticed that actually the waves are a lot more aggressive today. Probably because... Oh, my little... Our little picnic area is so cute. Man, I miss our cherry blossoms, but they'll come back next year. They'll come back next year. Oop, peacock butterfly. One moment, friends. That is 2.5 thousand bells towards paying off the big gigantic loan that we have for the Wildberry Wildlife Research Center. And let's say good morning to Sky too. Airmail, fish aren't biting. This is so cute to see everybody doing some fishing. I think I saw Octavian behind our house a little bit ago. Yeah, check him out! So Octavian's even over here with his really cool little tentacles. I got a good feeling about this. Gotta catch a big one today. Oh, this is so fun! I wonder who else is out fishing. And look at our little cherry blossom area! I'm so happy we started sprucing this spot up so that we can really put in uh, different themed items. Probably buddy day stuff next. And then probably just like a nice April picnic. <gasps> Ooh, we could look up different animal and, and wildlife holidays that we'll celebrate in our pixel biology community. And we can celebrate here on Wildberry Island because it's quite the wild place. All right, there's a ton of money just hanging from this tree. And I think I saw Annalisa. Oh, Annalisa and Cranston are fishing together. Hey, fish, fish, fish. Hey, I wish, I wish, I wish. Wish you'd come and play with me. Oh, I love that, Cranston. Great day for the fishing tourney, isn't it? If you're competing today, good luck reeling in the big ones. Oh, Annalisa, she is quickly becoming, like, one of my perma favorites, who I hope stays with us forever and ever. Nobody is over by the, the coconut trees. I think it's only polite that we check and see what everyone else is up to really quickly. Let's see what Puddles is up to. And then we will begin the fishing journey. Very important to greet all of our villagers, though. Puddles, are you going to come to the fishing tourney? Siri, me? I'm just relaxing. Sometimes you need a good relaxed day, right? Big chips zipped over uh, from Kiri. It was so great to see them. I heard they sold their turnips for a crazy high price. I'm so jelly. My turnips always rot before I sell them. 
<laughs> and actually chips did do that he stopped by and sold his turnips here when they were like at 140 or something like that that's really funny i love the way that they note even what my friends have been doing oh and by the way i'm getting married tomorrow like in real life <laughs> just fyi that's happening Jin, so he's more than a friend sup i think you'd be into this thing too let's go at those fish with both hands groom Yay! Okay, so now that we know literally everybody is up and raring to go for the fishing tourney. Oh, it's gonna be a little fish fish. Let's run over to CJ and get started. Alright, CJ, I have seen how the villagers are doing. I have seen the layout of our land. I have faith in all of our crushed up little clams to be fished. Let's do this. What's up, fly fisher? Want to dip those toes into the fishing tourney? Yep, let's do it. Aye, aye. All right, I'm going to spray three minutes on the clock for you and catch as many fish as you can. Oh, and I see there's also a bonus. Oh, uh, oh, and there's also a bonus that'll backstroke if you catch at least three fish. You done nibbling all that? Because it's time to launch. Go, 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 go. Here we go, guys. Okay, where's the tiny fish? I saw you right there. No, get out. What are you doing, Siri? Fishing rod. I am queen of the fish. All right, let's do this. And we got him! I had to be completely set. <gasps> Our very first fish is a seahorse! Oh, that's so perfect! I can't wait to share why that's so perfect with you guys in a little bit. Let's go ahead and we are going to scatter some food. Okay. Alright. Come on. There we go. Had to get a little closer. And toss the fish. Come on, little guy. And we got him! A big hint on how to be able to catch fish better is to close your eyes and just listen to the sound. It really helps, in my opinion. All right, scatter the food, scatter the food. This is so fun. Oh, I can't wait until we get all of our streaming stuff up because this would be so much fun to do with you guys. Man, I might try... Uh, no promises, but keep an eye on our Twitch later. An anchovy? Have I caught an anchovy before? I don't think I've ever caught an anchovy before. Oh man, yeah, this would be so fun. I can't wait, guys. I dream about being able to stream our Wildberry world and my home island with you guys. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. I, I got trigger finger. Okay, go, 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 go. But I dream about being able to share all of this with you and build up our island and adventure on it and see how the villagers are doing in real time together. So do keep your eyes out for that. Come on, little guy. A little clownfish! Yay! Alright, let's see what else we can do. Scatter the food. I am queen of the fish! Come to me, little ones. I've got skills. You've got skills. We can be excellent friends. <gasps> Another seahorse! Oh, that makes me so happy. Seahorses are actually my favorite type of fish. Well, one of... I, I have a lot of favorites of everything, just for the record. But seahorses are actually a type of fish. And they are actually one of my favorites, so that we're catching so many of them makes me ridiculously overjoyed. Scatter some food. There we go. It's really nice that all of the fish just go straight to the cooler. <gasps> You're new! A zebra turkey fish! I'm 99% certain we have not caught an anchovy or a zebra turkey fish. Oh, where's my fish? Oh, there's my fish. Oh, come on, fish. Okay. I actually beat the scattered food. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. We might be able to get at least one more. A squid! Okay, quick, 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 quick. Go, 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 go. Scatter, scatter. I don't think we can do it, but we're gonna try. No! All right, we got eight. Reel it in. The fishing tourney is over. Well, we're gonna pull in that last one. Another zebra turkey fish. Land, air, water, make up your mind. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I love the puns that are, and the funny little quotes that are in so many things. All right, we caught five fish. That was so fun. And then we all like we participated in the fishing tourney. Please participate in the fishing tourney, which is held every spring, summer, fall, and winter. I'll give you Nook Miles' reward the first time you participate each season. Yay! Springborn free spirit. Nice. All right, let's go talk to CJ. He had a goal of us reaching three fish, 
We completely smashed that goal, by the way. Hey, hey, there's my favorite angler. So how was it? Have fun? Yuck. The fish you caught are all partying in the cooler. You can fetch them later. Or if you don't want them, I'll buy them. I need fresh fish for my live stream to keep my followers following. Yuck. See, I love that he's a little live streamer. But first things first, let's check out what you bought and what you caught in the tourney. Looks like you stowed eight fish in the cooler. Oh, with a solo bonus waiting in at three or more fish. Splash! That's ten points. Look at him! <laughs> that's my favorite thing about him. When he gets really hyped and happy, he will actually take a zillion pictures and no doubt put them on some sort of version of Instagram. Pour that in your points pool. If you got enough points in your pool, you can swap them for some slick fish swag. Alright, give me just a second. I hear a balloon. It's just an egg balloon. We're not going to worry about it. I'm going to catch these two butterflies. Don't mind me. There's three butterflies. Don't mind me. I can't pass them up, guys. We have such beautiful, bounteous butterflies on Wildberry. How could I possibly... Oh, well, I could possibly ignore them because my net has broken. Curses. All right, CJ. All right, go ahead and tell me... Um. Okay, I've got to look at the cooler, I guess, before he'll let me look at the points pool. I can't ship the next tourney round until the cooler's empty. Oh, okay, so we have to empty this of all the fish. Look at them! My cute little seahorses, my anchovy. I am pretty sure that anchovy is brand new. Zebra turkey fish, squid. That was so fun! And I love how the cooler's just full of water. Yo, fish flyer. I'm packed to the gills with fishing tourney knowledge. Ask me almost anything. All right, let's go ahead. There's something else. Oh, have I told you about my live stream and needing fresh fish to gush over? Yuck. If you got fish to sell, I want to pay them. Uh, I want to pay too much for them. You get paid and my followers keep following. Win-win. <laughs> I want to swap points for the swag. You've got 10 points in your pool, so you've got it, chum. All right. Oh, what do we get? There's a keeper. Your very own fish door plate. Yuck. The fishing tourney goes till 6 p.m. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Rivers and ponds, too, so get casting. <gasps> we got a fish door plate? Are you kidding me? All right, I've got to see what this looks like. That's too much fun. Fish door plate. Decorate door. <laughs> That's so cute. That's so cute. Oh, my gosh. I love it, you guys. I really love it. All right, let's see. Oh, and there's Sky Again, can we talk to her while she's fishing? I feel like you're staring at me and it's making me nervous. Oh, Sky, I didn't mean that. I'm scared to take my eyes off the bobber. Oh, so she is not in the mood to talk right now. That is so precious. All right, so let's go ahead and try again and see what we can get. Wait, how many points do we have? Uh, Because I think we have a ton of points. Because we've got 10 points. I have zero points. Oh, dang it, now there's like a really, really rare butterfly going by. That's it. Shake a tree. Shake this tree. Get down. Come on. Where are my... I know you're in here. Where are the branches when I need them? Look at that butterfly taunt me. We have such amazing butterfly populations on Wildberry. Dang it, there's another one. It's the rare Madagascar moth that I want to get a beautiful commission from from Flick. Okay, thank goodness. We now have enough. We have to take a mild detour from our fishy fish day to quickly craft up at least a flimsy net because I cannot sit here on this beautiful windy day surrounded by butterflies and just ignore them. All right, let's do this quickly, quickly. A flimsy net is better than no net. There we go. All right. So I guess you need 10 points in order to, uh, 10 points in order to like make progress on getting items. So I could see how this definitely would be perfect if we could do like a nice live stream. Uh, oh, there it is, there it is. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I needed this moth. <laughs> I want to save three of them so we can get a beautiful commission from Flick in the future. All right, all right. Working our way down here. Checking things out. That's just a bunny day balloon. We're good. All right. And there's actually a couple of the clams. So if you guys are wondering where I got all of that big pile of fish bait from, it's actually these little guys. They spit up water on the beach. 
they're manila clams. Manila is my favorite flavor, you see. And then we dig them up. Dun dun dun! Like so. Oh, there's so many of them! I wonder if there's more of them today because it's fishing tourney day. That would be very useful. But they're the reason why I actually went ahead and put a DIY bench on the beach. Let's kick this in a little bit. There we go. Because what you'll do is you come over and you come to the crafting station. I built a new little DIY bench, a simple one, for this very purpose. And then you can go ahead and craft the fish bait. And there is a running meme in the Animal Crossing community about how you have to craft the fish bait one at a time. Slowly but surely, turning these manila clams into small bags of fish bait. And it does take a while. So what I did last night was I got all of the fish bait that we have actually been holding on to in our storage and piled it up here on the beach so that you don't have to watch the fish queen go ahead and keep crafting fish bait after fish bait after fish bait. However, it's good to know that there are so many clams in case we did need more. Because instead of running around searching for more fish, we can just go ahead and summon them to us. So let's do a round two. Come here, little fish bait thing. There we go. I'm coming back for you, tiny thing. It's probably a mackerel, I think. All right, let's see what we can get for round two. All right, I want to compete. Yes, nobody can resist the siren song of the fishing tourney. One thing, since you already sell the tourney seas today, I gotta have 500 bells for your entry fee. Cool? Very cool. Knew you'd be on board. There we go. He's gonna spray us three minutes on the clock, and if we catch at least three fish, we get a bonus. Go, 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 go! Alright, we've got this! Don't scare the little fish! Don't scare the little fish! The little fish is still there! Alright. Here we go, guys. I got really excited. Sorry. <laughs> we'll take more care this time. All right, there we go. Close my eyes. And... Sea bass. <gasps> oh, red snapper, nice! All right, we can sell the extra fish that we have to CJ as well for a lot more money, which is really cool. All right, I'm just gonna close my eyes. Got him! Oh, and look at all these zebra turkey fish! Oh my goodness. So I really, really love how this works. Because it's pretty fun, it's pretty cute. It'd be really fun if he gave you like a specific challenge to catch a certain number of fish, I think. Come on! That's a sea bass, alright. Alright, yes! Okay, so we've got at least three sea or three fish, which is like one of the first goals. And then we'll toss this on in here. And wait. And come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. All right, there we go. And another little anchovy! Excellent! So this is way too fun, and it does make me think about ways that we can share wild berry together. Because this island has become so ridiculously special to me. I, I adore taking care of it every day. I adore sharing our adventures of it with you guys every day. Come on, see bass. There we go. So I have been trying to think of ways that we could share wild berry together, including even making cute little wild berry stickers or doing like little days where we could set up our wild berry wildlife research center and talk about real life plants and animals from the research center. Kind of the way that we used to do the very old style zoo bites in zoo crafting. I think that would be ridiculously adorable. All right, come along, come along. All right, come on little fish. I want to beat our record. We're doing really good. A lot of zebra turkey fish. Zebra turkey fish are interesting. They look a lot like lionfish. I don't think they're lionfish. A lot of lionfish are actually an invasive species in the world. They're very prickly. They have a lot of spines. Oh, I almost got him. Wait for it. All right. Come on up, sea bass. A red snapper! Even better! Excellent! Alright, let's keep going. And we'll toss this on in. I'm feeling pretty confident. Oh, this is probably- Oh, no! Come on, come on, come on! Come on! Oh, no, we're not gonna make it! 
Oh, literally the last fish. Another zebra turkey fish. <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad we put in. Oh, and just as our, our fishing rod broke. What good timing. I'm so glad we made some extra ones. All right, and there's a little butterfly fluttering by. Come along, little one. The ocean is no place for you. I'll go ahead and put you away. Oh, oh, ah! <laughs> that dragonfly literally just flew into my face. That's so funny. All right, so let's come over and talk to CJ. How's my favorite angler? How was it? Did you have fun? The fish you caught are all partying in the cooler. All right, we'll go ahead and sell most of them to him, but... Eight fish, three fish bonus, ten points! Oh, that's interesting. Did we get eight fish the first time, too? Hmm. So do you always get eight fish? Can you just, like... Did I get eight fish last time, too? Uh, let me check the cooler, actually. There we go. Thank you, CJ. I think I can sell you all of these. Because he'll give us a much, much better price on these fish than we could get elsewhere. And we already do have all of those fish. Yeah, good to go, good to go. Okay. Sell them all. And then... Nice. 12,000 bells. I will totally accept that. And now he's ready. So what will he give us now? Let's see. Uh, something else. <laughs> I love how he's so worried about his live stream. No wonder it's making me think about doing a live stream with you guys. I want to find lots of ways to share Wildberry with all of you. <gasps> What's this? A fish umbrella? Is it covered in fish? Thank you, CJ. I want to see what this looks like. It sounds ridiculously adorable. Oh, it has a little shark on it. Look at that, you guys. Oh, I love it. All right, let's get at least one more item today. And then, like I said, we'll either do a double daily or I might... I mean, Chips and I literally get married tomorrow. <laughs> and we actually found out that we can get married online. Our state has actually made it so that you can set up appointments and you can get married online. Which sort of blows my mind. But it's true. <laughs> um, we did find out, yeah, that that can happen. Um, and so we're actually looking into ways where we can fill out the paperwork and we'll, we will formally, like actually, legally, be able to get married pretty soon. The goal is to at least get married in spirit tomorrow by having filled out all of the paperwork, but we might actually be able to pull it off thanks to having like an online interview <laughs> with the Register of Deeds, uh, which sort of blows my mind how we have progressed and adapted in this time, right? Oh, this is so cute! I love this, by the way. Also, can I put a door decoration on the Able Sisters? Will it let me hang this? Oh. Will it let me hang it on Ursula's house? It's a hyacinth reef. Oh, door decorations. I guess I have to give it to her, and then maybe we'd be able to use it. But anyway, if I if I am not able to do the live stream, that's kind of why. I'm literally getting married tomorrow. I haven't live stream on the new computer yet. Um, and it, it, there's, there's a lot of factors. But in future fishing tourneys, absolutely for sure. Because this is just too adorable. All right, let's do one more fishing tourney together at least. And then I have a couple things to show you guys as little surprises. All right, I actually want to go ahead and sell you some fish, CJ. All right, let me go ahead and sell some fish. And then I'm going to ask him if we have not one of the zebra turkey fish. We're going to save one of the zebra turkey fish and the anchovy. Because I know, I don't think I've turned those into blathers. There we go. 8,400 bells. Nice. Every little bit goes to helping wild berries, wildlife, and taking care of itself. Yay! Splash! Now you're swimming bells. Paddle back if you catch anything else to sell. Yuck. I really love that. All right, so we have our fishing rod ready. Let me go ahead and pick up a better batch of fish bait so that we're ready with the fish bait. There we go, there we go. We've got five extra fish bait right here. Mini peacock butterflies that we could sell, excellent. All right, let's do this, you guys. We have a cute little door thing. Oh, he's playing with the lure. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. We have a cute little door thing. We've got an adorable... I want to compete. 
And we've got a ridiculously adorable little umbrella that I really love because it has such a cute little shark on it. And... Okay, let's do this! Time to launch, let's go! I like how it gives you a little bit of a head start. Okay, and... We, ah! Ah! Come on, come on, Siri, come on, don't panic! There's a little bit of panic involved, but I can totally handle- No, Siri, that's the watering can! <laughs> pull it together, pull it together! Alright, back up a little bit. Come on, seahorse, I know it's you. You're my little buddy, aren't you? Dang it! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a mess. I'm sorry. That's when I get a little bit too overeager. Oh, <gasps> that's a big one! I'm guessing sea bass. Alright. What can we get from CJ next? I do believe there are 10 items all together that you can actually get from CJ. <gasps> what a big guy! Oh my gosh! So I'm sort of curious. If we only catch, like, three fish, is that all we have to do? In order to be able to get all 10 points? I'm going to catch as many as we can, but we're going to experiment with this. And then I do have a couple special editions that I actually ordered to our mailbox to celebrate the fishing tourney day with you guys. These are all some big honking fish! <gasps> Another one of you gigantic olive flounders! Olive flounders are really cool because if you notice, their eyes are on the same side of their head. And that's because they like to lie down in the sand and use the sand, I can't believe I just did that, and use the sand as camouflage. Which I think is really amazing because you've really only got the sand and then all this open ocean everywhere in the ocean, right? Hang on. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh, and it's a little dab! And again, you can see the same thing. Eyes on, on one side of the body. And those are going to be fish that really kind of hover down against the sands. They burrow into it to try to stay out of the way. I can't believe I just did that. I've really got to start closing my eyes and just listening. So sorry, guys. I know that must be really frustrating. I just get so excited. All right, wait for it. Got him! There we go, little dab. Welcome to the family. But I've always found that so fascinating because I would I would love to hide away in the sand. You'd feel so exposed out in the open ocean, right? So you could go the zebra turkey fish route and you could go the lionfish route and oh, holy moly, shaking so hard. What is this? <gasps> Yay! Talk about a caper. That is fantastic. I okay, this is probably going to be our last fish of the moment. But I'm really excited we got an oarfish. Come on, little one. And final fish. <gasps> it's so pretty! We got a butterfly fish, you guys! Alright, so now we caught seven fish. Let's see if that actually ends up being the ten points. Also, is that just another egg balloon? You know, I love the bunny day concept on one level, but I'm going to be so happy when the balloons... I can get excited about them actually having like DIY recipes and things inside of them. And I'm so excited about Earth Day later this week. Yeah, I need to get back into- CJ's inspiring me. I need to get back into live streaming soon so that we will actually be able to spend time together, you guys! Since Earth Day is coming up and there's all sorts of special events to always be looking forward to, to celebrate here on Wildberry and in the general like pixel biology community, I want to do it. All right, I hear another balloon. You may be asking, Siri, I knew it! Look, I've got good ears for these. Chips will be playing in Home Island in the other room and I will hear a whisper and I will yell, you've got a balloon to the left! And sure enough, he does. Iron Nuggies, good. We can upgrade our little flimsy net with those in a second. But let's see how many points CJ will give us I have so many peacock butterflies thanks to these beautiful hybrid flowers. And one more butterfly, don't mind if I do. Isn't this fun, guys? I really think that Wild Bear Island's specialty is beautiful butterflies. Oh, speaking of which, thank you, CJ. I appreciate your support. 
Oh, actually, we need to go sell these butterflies because CJ won't talk to us. Well, I think we can take the fish out of the cooler. I want to sell everything but the ore fish and this cute little butterfly fish. I'm going to go ahead and keep the butterfly fish. Uh, and we'll sell the ore fish in just a minute, but I want to pose with it because it's like our best catch so far. And I don't know if I've given the butterfly fish to Blathers, actually. So yeah, we've got to keep that little guy too. CJ, that was so much fun. All right, tell me all about those there points, though. Seven fish, three fish. Oh, so now we only got nine points. Okay, so it does matter how many fish you catch. There, I I think... Okay, can I... You, you can sell all of these ones. Do you need ten points in order to... Do you need ten points in order to get an item, CJ? I love his little cowlick, by the way. It's really cute. Okay, you probably need 10 points in order to get an item, which means we might have to do this one more time together. I would love to uh, just uh, think of how fun it would be to- okay. <gasps> yeah, look, you have to have 10 points! Alright, CJ, one more time! Let's do this! Come on, CJ, I'm gonna do my best. Let's do this, come on, come on! I wanna go, I wanna go! Of course I'm on board! Let me at him! Let me at him! Come on, let me at him! Choom! All right, the fish queen's on it. Okay, guys. We're, ooh, good. We've already got a fish lined up. Good fish. Good fish. Touch the fish. Get in here. Go ahead and bite this. Please. Come on. All right, we got him. What a fun time to fish. So these are also the spring fish. Oh, it would be really fun if we were fishing up tadpoles. Oh my gosh, that would be adorable. Maybe we need to go fishing at a pond later. That would be really cool because we could end up with a bunch of koi fish. Ooh, that'd be fun. Koi fish are one of my favorites. There we go. I do like squids though. I do like octopus a lot. Squids, I think, are a lot more aggressive in temperament than octopus actually. And you may be asking, Siri, how do you know that? I have watched a lot of documentaries in my lifetime, and one of the ones that scared me the most was when these undersea documentary filmmakers were in the ocean during a squid mating time. Like, all of the squid were getting together and finding mates. And in other species, like birds, that's a time where you show off how beautiful you are, you preen your feathers, you sing, you look gorgeous, you do adorable little dances. And in this species of squid, it's a time where you rip each other's tentacles off, you batter down the unworthy, and you eat one another. And that just was so alarming to me. <laughs> so there's a lot of really cool things about squid. And there's many, many, many varieties of squid. So maybe it was just those scary, like, aggressive ones. <laughs> But octopus, by contrast, I, I don't know like all of the deets about both species, especially because there's a lot in both species, mind you. But in contrast, all of the information that I know about octopus tends to be a little bit more peaceful because it focuses on their high intelligence. I love the species of octopus that actually will like hide in coconut shells, for instance and be able to use their camouflage to really blend into their local environments. I actually have a book called The Soul of the Octopus and I haven't read it yet, but let me know, please, please, please let me know in this like getting to know each other, becoming deeper and deeper companions of the mind that we do here in Wildberry, where we hang out and we're friends, you know? But let me know what you think about this idea. My beloved Chips suggested that I should do a book club and we should have a pixel biology book club and try to read some fun fiction and nonfiction books. And Soul of the Octopus just sounds amazing. And it's all about how intelligent octopus are. Oh, let's get this last fish, last fish, last fish. Yes. All right, so we now caught nine fish. That was really good. I guess talking about octopus helped me. And let's get this little, get over here, you little clam. We're gonna need to restore our fish bait after all this. All right, we'll go ahead and kick this up. There we go. This will be fun for future live streams because we'll have like rest periods where we just focus on like, all right, we've got to restore our energy, drink some tea and 
get those clams. Alright, do I want to keep any of these guys? No, we're good. That was a lot of squid. No wonder I was talking about squid so much. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the idea of maybe doing a book club. We could do it for different, uh, like, reading levels, like young adult and adult. And we could also do it for fiction and nonfiction. Maybe, and I think that'd be really good since we're all kind of stuck at home right now. Yay, 11 points! Okay, so you can actually... You can actually improve your points. So we had 9 points before, now we have 11. We should be able to get 2 pieces of swag! All right, sell all those fish. Thank you, CJ. Excellent. So let's see what our two pieces of swag are. And then I actually have a couple surprises that I saved for the fishing tourney that we can do together. All right, there's something else. <laughs> Thank you, CJ. Thank you. I would like to get some swag. 20 points. All right. Here's one piece of swag. You're very- oh, it's a fish print! <gasps> we might have to go inside to go ahead and check it out. And we'll turn in the other one, and now what is he giving us? A fish- oh, a fresh cooler! Thank you, CJ! Okay, so let's actually check out what the fish print is. Because I have a feeling we have to go inside to do that. I love the little fish thing that goes on our front door. I hope you can get different themed items depending on what day it is, or what season it is. Because if we get all of CJ's items now, I'm going to be a little sad if we don't have anything to look forward to in the future. Let's put a... Oh, yeah, we'll put the Bunny Day Reef away for just now. All right, fish print, hang on wall. <gasps> That's so cool! Oh, I want to get more of those! That is amazing! We need to transform this into our Wildberry Wildlife Classroom so we can show off amazing specimen research like that. That is too much fun. Okay, I love that fish print. Yeah, I'm really, I'm happy with this. These aren't quite as, like, gimmicky of rewards for the fishing tourney as I thought. And then let's go ahead and see what the cooler looks like. <gasps> it's so cool! And it can be used as a place to change our outfits! Yes! I needed something that could kind of look somewhat naturalistic outside for that. And then finally, uh, oh, here, I gotta come over here. <clears throat> And then finally, my friends, as a way to really be able to celebrate the fishing tourney, I did put in a special order for a couple special items. You see, this is not the first time that I have actually had the opportunity to meet CJ. To my shock, late, late, late last night, around 10 p.m. when I was getting ready for bed and just checking on the island one final time, CJ actually showed up! He showed up and he actually wanted us to catch him some fish. So I went ahead and I gathered some fish. We chit chatted about live stream details. And then he had a special option. If CJ comes to your island and it is not a fishing tourney, he can actually take three fish to be able to make commissions from Flick. So just like Flick will take three bugs to take a cool commission, CJ will take three fish to take a cool commission. And I thought, what better way to celebrate the fishing tourney than to get a commission? And then, irony of all ironies, my friends. Something really cool happened. What up, Siri? You should see my partner work on this. Sometimes he just flows. It's fantastic. Anyway, here's your seahorse fresh out of the dry dock. Tell everyone how you landed it. That's gonna be so perfect! Okay, also, let's see, did the other thing I order arrive? It did not, huh? Oh wait, yeah, it did! Okay! So the other thing that I ordered from the Nook Mileage program arrived, too. And a ton of books, which we're going to turn into the, um, tiny library once we have less events to focus on. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll actually pull up this toolbox. We'll give it to one of the villagers. And then let's put down the fresh cooler. Very nice. <laughs> I love it. Let's see, let's make sure that it's actually turned so that we can use it. Alright, and we'll turn it. Come on. Ugh, ugh. There we go. Come on, little Siri. I'm strong enough to do this. There we go. And then we can push it back a couple. Maybe pull it forward one. And is this the side we use it on? Wait, is it the other side we use it on? Curses! Okay, I actually mixed it up. And place the item. 
Oh, there we go. Look, and you can see inside of it to look at all of the water. That is so much fun. All right, I'm gonna push this over here. Should I push this over here? Here, we'll pull this forward because I have something special to actually decorate the beach to celebrate this wonderful day. So because we have all of the villagers hopefully coming down to the shoreline in order to do their fishing, I wanted to celebrate that in a special way. And I redeemed our Nook Miles for one of the very first town decoration items that you can actually get a sandbox. Oh my gosh, there's no room to put it here. Okay, how big is this sandbox? Maybe it's a lot bigger than I thought. <gasps> it's cute! So there we go, guys. I wanted to put a sandbox down on the beach to celebrate the fishing tourney so that the villagers would have somewhere nice that they could actually play in the sand and maybe find some nice clams. There we go. Got another manila clam. And then finally, let's go ahead and check out what our little seahorse looks like. Seahorse model! Oh, I'm so excited about this. Okay, now you can scooch all the way back a little umbrella because we have a cute little seahorse model we're gonna look at. All right, and place item. Oh, it's so precious! Oh, you guys, look at it! It's like our very own custom trophy because the seahorse ended up being the very first fish we caught for the special event. I love that. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. This is so much fun. But all right, guys, we've done it. We got a few special items. There are still many more to catch. I have a very busy day getting ready for, you know, getting married tomorrow ahead of me. But I don't know, keep an eye on my Twitch. If I can make something happen, I'll do my best. If I can't, there will always be next time. Because uh, this is just such a fun event and I want to be able to share it with you guys. Finally, let's wrap up by going ahead and seeing if these are indeed some brand new fishy fish fish for blathers to be able to appreciate. We are the Wildlife Wildberry Research Center after all. We must appreciate the wildlife of the island for their own sake. Psst, blathers. Yes, sorry to bother you this time of day. However, I think I may have some special donations for you. Let's go ahead and see what we've got here. Okay, so I have actually given him a butterfly fish and the zebra turkey fish and the anchovy are actually new additions. And there you go, Blathers. Thank you. All right, so that is all done. We'll have to go ahead and tour with our fish by the end of this. All right, thank you, Blathers. And maybe later we'll actually do some fishing like in a pond or something like that. That would be really fun. But all right, thank you guys so much for joining me. I am so excited to see that all of the residents and citizens of Wildberry are so excited to be part of the fishing tourney that they're actually fishing all over the island. We do have a new resident who I rescued from none other than Tarantula Island last night that I need to introduce you guys to in the future. But Sheldon's story will have to wait. And next time, hopefully, we'll either be doing a little bit more fishing, maybe we'll have a quick live stream to do some of the fishing. We'll have to see. But I'm just so happy to continue sharing some of our adventures here on Wildberry with all of you. If you guys could, do please leave a like to help support Wildberry. It really does make a huge difference. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and good luck with the fishing tourney. Bye-bye, guys.